All right, let's get straight to the point. Best movies, in my opinion, of 2022. You are free to get mad or love my list. Right off the bat, let me just get it out of the way. I didn't watch Nope, Glass Onion, The Woman King, All Quiet on the Western Front, The Banshee, in inch, the, 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 that word, Tar, RRR, or The Whale. I'll probably watch them eventually, but it'll have to be a review in 2023. Number 10. Everything, Everywhere, All at Once. My god, what can I say about this movie that hasn't been said already? This movie is literally like an experience like nothing else before. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, it experiments with some wacky, crazy themes like while still maintaining the Eastern style fun comedy throughout the entire movie, but it is well worth the watch. It's a movie I recommend everyone experience because that's my best way of explaining this movie. It's just, it's, it's an experience. Enjoy the wacky fun trip. Number nine, Avatar, The Way of Water. Boy, oh boy, 10 years in the making. And my God, I will admit, I I, I didn't care about Avatar anymore. Uh, I, I still care about Aang, but I completely forgot about this. I wasn't hyped at all. I was just like, cool. James Cameron has been working on it for 10 years and it's going to be awesome. I'm sure it's going to look pretty. But Jesus, James Cameron, Christ, this movie looks so good. It is literally an eye candy absolute spectacle. If you're a fan of David Attenborough and Blue Planet, like I am. Boy, you're in for a treat cause damn, look at that water. That water looks great. That look good. That looks so good. Look at that. Oh, the story is nothing crazy and the themes are pretty straightforward, but the sheer visual spectacle, eye candy, it, it, just, it just tenfolds the experience. Number eight, Prey. Prey is truly something beautiful because it brings back a dying franchise that was Predator and it gives you a kick-ass story with a new twist. After watching this movie, I just want a Predator to fight all the humans throughout history. I mean, we're talking about Vikings, Samurais, the possibilities are just endless. Shameless plug, but if you want to see a more in-depth review of this movie, I actually did a full review of it, so feel free to check that out. Number seven, The Northman. If you're a guy who has low testosterone, just pop in this movie and you will have pure masculine rage flowing through your veins in no time. This movie is how you do a revenge plot that feels like a journey. The best way to explain this movie is honestly, um, it's just a boy becoming a man in a journey to seek vengeance and becomes a viking killing machine. Yeah, this movie is very primal, but it, it's a great time. Number six, the unbearable weight of massive talent. This is probably my second most controversial pick on this list, but on the personal, I'm a huge Nicolas Cage fan. So when you have a movie fully based on him, it's a tribute to him, it glamorizes him and all the movies he's done before, I'm already in. What I didn't expect was this movie to have such a funny bromance movie. It, it, Pedro Pascal and Nick Cage are just great together. It's honestly just a simple sit back, watch and enjoy. It's crazy. And if you're a Nicolas Cage fan, I'm telling you, you are absolutely gonna love this movie. Uh, I will actually agree and I could see why some people might think this movie is pretty average if you're not like super into Nicolas Cage but if you are I'm telling you this movie is gonna be the real bee's knees. No, not the bees! Number five, Hustle. I have been praising Adam Sandler's through the years, and last year it was all about Uncut Gems. I, I couldn't stop talking about it. But I'm happy to report that in this year of 2022, he gave us Hustle. And my God, what a treat. Honestly, there wasn't a single thing I didn't like about this film. It's got a heart, it's an underdog story, it has training montages, it has tons and tons of professional basketball players cameo, and it gives you the, a nice view about what the recruiter life behind the professional basketball players is like. Every basketball fan should watch this movie. Every Every sports fan should watch this movie. Everyone should watch this movie, okay? The second I finished this movie, I knew it was gonna be my top five of the year for sure. Number four, Elvis. I love Elvis. I mean it. To this day, I still listen to this music. This day! To this day! So naturally, I was mega pumped when I heard that they were making a movie about him. And I'm telling you, the way I was jamming in my seat, you would think I was at a concert because it's just so catchy. You really feel immersed in the movie. And when Elvis shows up, it's almost like you're part of the crowd and you get energized by him. And you're just like jamming there, just enjoying having a good time. The movie just really perfectly depicts how electrifying, how much energy Elvis brought into it. And honestly, it, it, it's, it's a real party. However, the movie reminds you quick that it's a biopic and it shows you the dark side of the music industry and the dark turns in Elvis's life. Number three. What else is also number three? The Trinity. And who's in the DC Trinity? That's right. It's your boy, the Batman. This movie just gets everything right in my book. It finally gives us more in-depth look at Batman's detective side. The Riddler was a great villain and the entire supporting cast was just on their A-game. I mean, all the way from Catwoman, the Penguin, Commissioner Gordon, just the, the whole movie was just so good. And to put the cherry on top of it, oh, the sound of the Batmobile that it makes. Ooh, so good. And it honestly gives you the best depiction of Gotham which just shows you an incredible and remarkable shithole 
that this location is. I'm telling you, the real estate in this place is probably worse than Detroit. Number two, Bullet Train. Yep, this is easily my most controversial pick in this list. Look, while watching this movie, everything was just right. I, mean, I felt happy, like a happy kid watching a fun action comedy with cool actors, funny dialogue, and just simple yet entertaining plot. It honestly felt like back in the OG days when I was in high school, just watching the Marvel movies finally come out, you know, back in the OG Marvel days before the cringe shit. I don't know. It just something in me just sat there and I genuinely just felt happy. I felt at a happy place. And I could easily say that this was the funnest movie I watched and I could rewatch it easily because it's just that entertaining. And finally, the one you've all been waiting for. Number one. No, it's more than time. It's Top Gun Maverick. It's absolutely Top Gun Maverick. If entry number two on this list had me like a little kid watching with a smile, then Top Gun Maverick had me at the edge of my seat with poop in my pants and an adrenaline surging through my veins because what an absolute masterpiece this movie is. From beginning to end, it's just incredible. Not just from the fact that they're actually flying real fighter planes, like Tom Cruise finally lost it. He's actually forcing people to be as crazy as he is. But everything else, just the acting, the camaraderie, the heartfelt moments, the badass moments, and just Tom Cruise running running as always. When I walked out of the theater, I knew this movie was going to be the number one contender for my favorite movie of the year. And now that 2022 is over, I can confidently say Top Gun Maverick is my favorite movie of 2022.